Hey Capricorns, welcome to your general reading for July. This is a general and will not resonate with everybody unfortunately, but I do personal readings and my email is in the description box as always. So I'll be using the messages from your angels first. Oop, two have jumped out for you guys. And then I'll be using the romance angels. And then the vice versa deck. Okay, guys, for those that ask, thank you for all the likes and shares. It really means a lot to me, you guys. Thank you. Um, side note, if you're dealing with a Scorpio or a cross watch as a Scorpio, check out the Scorpio video because it had heavy Capricorn in it. Um, you have Archangel Michael. I am with you, giving you the courage to make life changes that will help you work on your divine life purpose. So that's your message from your angels there. And patience. Now is the time to learn, study and gather information. Enjoy being a student because in the future you will synthesize your knowledge into action. So that's the messages from your angels. Have patience and you are being given the courage to make those life changes to help you work on your divine purpose there. Ooh, Capricorn, you're calling in your soulmate. So your prayers, affirmations and visualizations help bring you together. So you're calling in your soulmate there. Just have patience <laughs> if they're not coming yet because um, now's the time to learn and get information and enjoy that time because, you know, you're going to have to put it into action in the future there. So, good, beautiful cards so far, Capricorn. Ooh, the lovers jumping out. So maybe some of you are dealing with a Gemini here, but... Overall, it could just be, um, you know, you calling in your soulmate here, this divine love here. Somebody you have a very strong connection with here, I would say, with the lovers. Could be as well, you know, learning to love yourself on this divine purpose here. Because I'm just focused on the angel above there, so... Although this union, you know, is being brought together here with heaven's help, I definitely feel like, you know, loving yourself, um, you know, with Archangel Michael there and the lover's card. Looks like the same guy above. Let me show you that, what i just seen. It's like the same Archangel above you two, giving you courage here. Okay. Oh, good stuff. Getting, you know, this divine courage from Archangel Michael during these life changes or transformations here. Nine of Cups. Okay. Definitely seems like you're wishing for something here. Um, be careful not to overindulge at this time um, during July. But during July here, I feel like, you know, this could be, you know, wishing for um, a love here, a soulmate even to come in, whether you're single or however your relationship is here. You know, you could be hoping for, wishing for, um, you know, needing patience while you wait. They all jumped out there. So, <laughs> yeah, needing patience while you wait on this soulmate here. Maybe wishing that they'd hurry up. But we do have the Ace of Cups. So the opportunity is coming for love here. Maybe you're, um, during these life changes with Archangel Michael, maybe you're awakening to some sort of psychic abilities with the Ace of Cups here. Definitely a beautiful card in this deck. I'll show you the reverse side of it. But it's saying, um, it's wishing for a love here. Wishing for a soulmate, divine connection. Want in love. You know, are you having patience while you're waiting? Maybe, you know, that's what you have to learn at this time. Because it's saying about studying, learning patience. But definitely an opportunity for love here. Somebody making an offer to you. Oh my God, what did I say? A Scorpio, the death card here. Um, so yeah, maybe a Scorpio is trying to make you guys an offer, whether you receive it or not, it's up to you. 
I don't need to hear like I would never accept an offer from this yeah it just seems here you know you're going through you've been through this dark night of the soul this is when you're learning and you know trying to figure out your higher purpose here the other side of the death card here is like the phoenix rising so right now you could be going through these transformations maybe this love here that you know you're trying to call in you have to either change your vibrations maybe it's changed you this love um on how you proceed maybe an ending to this connection changed you so right now you are spending the time on higher learning and um, loving yourself here maybe all the while still wishing for yourself we have the tower and it's reversed so this is the other side of the tower this is the reverse side maybe you're rebuilding yourself after this then as it is a general have to give many options here yeah and the eight of pentacles here definitely seems like you're working on yourself or you're working on something here maybe just focusing on work um, maybe it was a work um, connection that you know previously had a tower moment and now you're just rebuilding yourself here but it's this is the reverse so no coins are made yet so on this side which it came you know you're doing a great job you're studying you're learning your craft here perfecting your craft so you could just be focused on that while you know having this patience for this soulmate to come in but never fear look we have a knight of wands here it rhymed <laughs> i'm a poet and didn't know it so we have somebody um holding a torch for you somebody is still holding this torch for you coming in towards you here um you know it's divine guide divine guidance here i think um you know when they come in if you're being told you need to have patience but they're coming i guess that's the main thing isn't it have patience they're coming during this time work on yourself study you're rebuilding yourself here somebody is going to take action towards you with the knight of wands there so yeah maybe it's a knight of wands coming in for you guys there is all the signs here like I say, if you're a Scorpio or um, a Scorpio is interested in you, seems like that because with the tower and the death card here, it definitely seems like Scorpio may be interested in you. So if you're single and um, having patience, waiting for somebody else to come into your life here, seems like heaven is sending somebody in for you here. Just continue to study and work on yourself and perfect your craft here continue to grow <laughs> queen of cups so yeah lots of strong indications of a water sign cancers pisces so yeah this is somebody who is still open to love even after tower moments still welcoming of love here desire even so um, either you or your soulmate is still open to this connection. It's like they still love you and you still love them with the Queen of Cups and the Ace of Cups here um, and the lovers. It definitely feels like, you know, the love is still there. Just have patience. You know, um, the Queen of Cups... Um, being like a maternal figure, a nurturing figure, um, a mother as well, it reminds me of patience, having to have patience with somebody or something. And, you know, patience is also in the heart of the reading up here. So that's sort of the root at the moment. Have patience here. You're calling in your soulmate. They're coming. Just have patience. Nine of swords. So maybe it's reverse so that's good maybe you know previously you was a lot more anxious about this or you know this person was always in your head and you was always obsessing about them maybe now that's eased maybe you've learned to you was always thinking will i ever find somebody 
And learning to get control of that with this being reversed will help you heap some bounds here. Because like I said, it does seem like you're being taught a lesson of patience here. You know, we all have our life path to follow. And even though, say, if we're in a divine partnership or want a divine partnership, that person has their path to follow too and their lessons to learn too. So enjoy this time, you know, learning. Try to change this Nine of Swords energy to a more positive. And I see you have done that because maybe um, the stress and the worry isn't so much now, but still you are still thinking about them or they're still thinking about you or you're still thinking about it somewhat here. If you're not sleeping, get some sleep. <laughs> oh, Seven of Swords. Okay, so this Seven of Swords, some sort of deception could have kept you up at the night, in the, at the night here. You know, going over and over and over in your mind about it. But you have to heal yourself and heal this situation. Find peace with this because this is not being able to sleep maybe you found some peace with what went hot what went on you know somebody snuck away in the night stole lied cheated here with the seven of swords um but you have to find some peace with that um and then you know maybe find peace with not everybody's the same or it won't happen, you know, every time you date or something like that. You just have to find peace that um, it happened for a reason to bring you where you are today. Everything makes you who you are today. So keep working on yourself. You'll see positive changes and love is coming for you. So don't worry about that. You are calling in your soulmate. Good luck, guys.